Hi, this is Jason Lunker, and welcome to WWE Predictions, where I take a look at the 2014 event of Royal Rumble. For the first match, we have um, the kickoff match, which is for the tag team titles. The Brotherhood, which is Cody Rhodes and Goldust, going up against uh, the New Age Outlaws. It's kind of funny, though, because, like, um, I didn't see the old school Raw, though, but I don't know how, like, um, the feud between, like, the Brotherhood and uh, New Age Outlaws actually started, though. If you want to put a comment or some some on there about why they're feuding and why they're feuding for the tag titles, just let me know and I'll eventually catch up. <laughs> well, anyway, as much as I like to see New Age Outlaws back in the title picture after all these years, I think the Brotherhood's going to like retain their titles until they find a more suitable tag team. You know, the Usos, any rising tag team for the belt, so sorry New Age Outlaws, much the like you guys, you're not going to win the tag titles. <laughs> and we have a match, another match, it's with uh, Daniel Bryan go up against Bray Wyatt to end the Bryan versus the Wyatt's feud. And I thought it was kind of ridiculous in the first place. I mean, Daniel Bryan's pretty much on the rise of being on the main event card, well he, he is, but... He was champion like two times since, but it was like quick. Either it's like a minute or a day rain. I think it has something to do with the writers though, because they want. I don't know what they want really with Daniel Bryan. I think he he deserves much better than that storyline against uh, the the White family. Although the White family itself, they're talented, stable. But the thing about them is like um, they should have fought the other talented stable, the Shield. To make a more better, interesting feud. No, they had to pick on Daniel Bryan instead. Just to make themselves better. <sighs> Since uh, Daniel Bryan's in the World Rumble pitcher, I'll see. I think Bray Wyatt's in one too. Yeah, I think, I think he, he is too. But I'll go with Daniel Bryan over Bray Wyatt to end the feud. Because Daniel Bryan has bigger fish to fry. And for um, the next match, we have the Big Show going up against Brock Lesnar in a pointless feud, Battle of Big Men. Of course, I'm going for Lesnar, and the Big Show, oh man, he's still getting over with the crowd, which I don't believe, because, like I said, I have my many rants about the Big Show before, you've already heard it all before, so I'm going to cut it down. Let's face it, I want to see Brock Lesnar win. And for the next uh, match, we have a WWE Heavyweight Championship. For the unified titles, the champion Randy Orton go up against the challenger John Cena. As I said before, I'm so sick of this whole feud between uh, Cena and Orton. But like I said, I hope Cena wins so he can, like, uh, get other people over, like CM Punk or Daniel Bryan, or people that are really deserving for a title shot, like Kobe Kingston, for instance. Here's another guy that's getting kind of screwed in the pitcher, because the writers don't know what to do with uh, Kobe Kingston. I hope, he, I hope Kofi gets over and have, like, uh, at least a title shot before he retires a legend or something. And for the last mat last but not least, we have the three we have the thirty man Royal Rumble match to determine who will go to WrestleMania in the main event against the unified champion. I guess I'm um, gonna do the same as last year. I'll go for like three things. It's kinda like um, when you're betting on horses that win place your show. Well this is here it's kinda like uh who'll be the surprise who will be like, uh, who will have the biggest impact in Royal Rumble, and who will win the whole thing. So this is going to be the big surprise. Um, I'd say one of the members of the Shield will be a big surprise of the Royal Rumble. They'll probably have one of their breakthrough, you know, performances. I'm thinking maybe Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose, but it's probably going to be Roman Reigns, since he's the big man. And then you got, like, uh, the one that will make the biggest impact. I call it the, the Kane of the event. Because Kane eliminated 11 people in the Royal Rumble one year, which is 2001. I'm picking Batista for that honor. So, since he's returning from 
like on hi on a four year hi hiatus with MMA and movies and everything. So I'm glad to see Batista come back. So he's one of my favorite big men wrestlers, and I hope it makes a big impact in the Royal Rumble. And for my win win part of the column, I'm picking. I, I've been like thinking about this for like um, for a while now. Who wins, CM Punk, because he's the number one. You know, entry in the World Rumble or Daniel Bryan because he won Superstar of the Year last year and he might win it this year to like s cement his role as Superstar of the Year to go to beat the Unified Champion for the WrestleMania title in New Orleans or excuse me, the Unified title at WrestleMania in New Orleans. I have to say, um, I did a lot of thinking. It's going to be hard for me to say this since I'm a fan of both wrestlers. I'll have to go with uh, Daniel Bryan. Since, like, my team, the Seahawks, are going to the Super Bowl and win it all, I figure, what the heck, might as well get another Washingtonian to go all the way to their own destiny. So, I pick a Daniel Bryan to win it all. Well, I hope you have my Royal Rumble pick, so I'll come back Monday with, um... My review of um, That's What I Am for my first ever episode of um, Canvas to the Screen. Bye.